Thank you for being here. Let's do this. How to think with clarity you're going to make a better decision from today. So there's easy five steps you can take. First one is find uh, what your value is. You might want to write down and ask yourself what's important about this value. And go further, ask yourself again, why is it so important to have this value for you? And write all this down. And if you have a goal, do the same. Write down your goal and ask yourself what's important about how achieving this goal. Then next, ask yourself, why is it important about this goal, having this goal? Example, let's say, I want to eat healthier. Then ask yourself, what's important about eat healthy? And you're going to write down something like, so I can enjoy my life. Then ask yourself again, what? Why is it important about enjoying life? Then you might come up, answer something like, well, my grandparents passed away. I, I want to be there for my grandchildren, enjoy. And you can go deeper and deeper, find out the core reasons. We need this first step. And when you have this ready for step two, you're going to create environment that easy to think with clarity. What you can do is having a balanced food. Our digestive system are known to be as a second brain. There's some food that gives you grounding energy. For example, potato, ginger, and some other food give you euphoric energy. Feel uplifted, maybe banana, chocolate, alcohol. We want to balance this. One way to improve your brain function is to have omega-3 fatty acid. This will support your brain function. Brain needs a lot of calories and good oil to structure the cell membrane. Another thing you can do for brain is to have purple color food, something like blueberries. Green for your heart health, orange and yellow, something like pineapple, banana, mango, they have enzymes that help to digest the food easily. So you'll be creating environment that easy for you to think with quality, having a balanced food, providing the nutrients for your brain. Another thing you can do is change your physiology. Bring to calm state. It's hard to make a good decision when you're in a stressful situation. You can change your physiology in a couple of minutes by changing your quality of breath. How goes in, how goes out. Focus on ears. You can close eyes to distract things come in from your eye stimulation. And focus on how the air goes into the body and how it comes out for a couple of minutes. 
and bring your physiology into calm state. Now, step three. Before you take action or make a decision, ask yourself, is this aligned with my value or my goals? For example, I'll be in stressful situation. I need some pick-me-up. Feel good thinking about eating cookies. Reaching out and ask yourself, is this aligned with my value and goals that I have? If the answer is no, then you take another step. Ask yourself, what do I want instead? So for the cookie example, what do I want to eat instead or do something? You can have maybe wholesome food, that healthy, fresh fruit instead, dates. And if you're not able to at the moment, you are so tempted, then step five, you can create plan, planning ahead in advance. So you can think about situation upcoming. You know you what you're going to do. You're going to come up with ideas. For example, I had some stressful situation, thinking about going to grocery store, pick up some cake. So I go there and pull out my strategy. I had a plan. Plan may be written, say, walk to fruit section and pick something, and walk to cashier and try it out. And over, over time, you are going to create new habit and change the behaviors. All you have to do is repeat this step one to five. Think about if your value is still the same, goal the same, and just take easy step, one step, slow and steady. There, I hope this was easy. You have power to make a change and live the life you want. Contact me if you have a question. And we can go over details around your obstacle each one of them and come up with strategy together. Thank you.